Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. Today we have the Charizard EX Premium Collection Box. It's been a while since I've been opening any type of Pokemon cards, maybe like a week or like two weeks or something like that, even more than that. Um, I've been waiting for a new release and this is it. This is the new Charizard Premium EX box. Um, I'm not sure when it was released. I think recently, probably like less than a week ago, but it costs approximately at retail like $40. I got mine for like anywhere from 32 to 35 i think i believe so um at pre-release which is pretty nice there is some texture along the outsides of the box so i will probably keep the box because it looks pretty cool um let's see what we get inside and if it's worth all the hype we get one etched foil promo card featuring charizard ex two foil cards featuring charmander and charmeleon only six booster packs so for like let's go like 36 it's even number for like 36 dollars you get six booster packs so it's like six dollars a pack and then a display case and then sleeves as well so let's, is it worth the money you're probably approximately paying around like five dollars a pack so hopefully we get some good packs in here and let's find out what we can pull from the new set i'm gonna open this off camera just to, so i can just observe the box there is a glittery shine to the bottom as well And it comes in the plastic coating as well. Let's pull out the promo cards and I'll show you guys these up close. Let's see what we got going on here. Okay, I'm gonna put them in sleeves real quick and show you them one by one, the evolution line. Pretty excited. I, I literally haven't opened Pokemon cards in so long. I've been having the itch, but you know, with work and life and everything like that, it's kind of hard to do so. All right, let's see what we got. So first we have is the Charmander. It is a regular hollow foil, so not a Cosmo hollow foil, which is fine. Then we have the Charmeleon. Again, there's no promo symbol at the bottom or anything like that. So these are like kind of just regular cards, I suppose you can get in the set. And then this is the Charizard EX. I think it's the same one from Obsidian Flames, but it's just a promo card right there. Um, so it's pretty cool. Wait, there's a hair here. Yeah, awesome, awesome artwork. So I'm pretty excited about this one. I think it goes in this case. Yeah, so there's a magnetic case for it. If you want to open this up, put it together real quick. I don't know how this works. Oh. Oh. Ooh. Okay. All right. I think you put them obviously in between these. I don't know if I'm allowed to use a card sleeve, but I really want to just to preserve the artwork. And, and, wait, 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 wait. Shoot, I don't know if you can use it, let's see. I think this goes in between here. Hold on, hold on. Sorry, this is actually way more difficult than I thought and I'm kind of just dumb, I guess. Oh, it slides like that, okay. All right, let's find out if we can use them. This is not easy. Okay. I think it's in. All right, you can use a sleeve, I suppose. There we go. And then I guess it's supposed to prop up on this little plastic piece. I think this is the first time that Pokemon has come up with like a card stand of this sort. Um, I believe so, other than the Dragonite Ball. I don't remember any other set doing something like this, so that's pretty cool. And I think it just rests like this. Is that how it's supposed to be? Is it backwards? I don't even know. I think it's supposed to be like this. And there you go. There's the new Charizard EX uh, promo card in its little card stand. We're gonna keep that up, I kinda like it. Here's the back. All right, keep it up for good luck, here we go. Here are the card sleeves we have the charizard in terror form coming out kind of bland and i think these are like kind of glossy as well so those are like okay card sleeves i wouldn't use them at all i mean i don't even play the game i just collect the art all right let's see the packs we get is it six yeah it's six packs all right let's see what we're rocking with we have obsidian flames Pelde evolved scarlet violet base obsidian flames again Pelde evolved and scarlet violet so obviously we don't really care about scarlet violet too much i still need the iono 
and I need the Charizard, but I, I technically already bought the Charizard because I said in a previous video that I would never open up the, <laughs> the Obsidian Flames boxes ever again, and I stuck true to that. I'm not ever doing it. I have old booster boxes of Obsidian Flames in my closet that I will never open just because I don't even want to take the risk anymore. All right, here we go. Wait, they have white code cards for Scarlet Valley Base? I forget, honestly, this set. All right, and I believe it's one of the front. Let's see what we got going on. All right, we got a Water Energy. Got a Mankey. Squawkabilly. Caps a Kid. Alola Mola. Alomo Mola. Alomo Mola. A Mava Stiff. We got a Miriam Supporter card. We have a Spirit Tomb. A Reverse Hollow Mankey. And, oh wait, there's two I forgot. Tarantula and then a Don Dozo. See? It has been so long that I don't even remember how to open Pokemon cards. Been out of the game. Been too much life has been happening. It's been hard to make videos. It's slacking, but I'll get back to it. Another white and green code card. Looks like nothing. I think this is the new version, how they show you got nothing with the white green. All right, we got a Houndor, a Sedaddle, ooh, a Magikarp, Magnemite, Pavilion, Doc, Doc Spun. Torco versus Hollow City Cobra. Yep, a Zangoose versus Hollow. Whoa, 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 we have something. Okay, we have a Spite Ops EX. I don't know if the code card actually matters, but it's like a full art. Spite Ops EX, pretty cool. I don't even know who this Pokemon is. I'm not gonna lie, I'm not really into the new gen, but it is a very nice art. A little orange and green action. Looks like a little metal character. Kind of weird, but pretty nice there we go another hit hit on the board probably like less than two dollars all right we gotta bless this this is what we need the iono i still need it for my personal collection if i pull that card that is not getting uh sold at all i need that for my personal collection pretty badly so let's hope black and green code card on the docket the back is super nice so let's hope we got a Darkness Energy, Sprigatito, Quaxley, okay, good line, Charcadet, okay, Relor, ooh, a Vespa Queen, Knackle Stack, a Calamitous Snowy Mountain, here we go, Reverse Hollow Magic Carp, oh no, Reverse Hollow Mass Chiff, oh, and we got a Belly Bolt EX, so I think that's probably like all the hits we're gonna get, I'm not gonna lie, I feel like after, after, uh, you get two hits in one of those special collection boxes, that's it. But we can maybe hope for one more. I think it's like two out of six packs, 32%. So I don't really expect anything from these. But, I mean, another hit would be nice. Did pay like 30 bucks for it. Definitely did not get my money back unless this promo card is worth 50 bucks. I mean, 30 bucks, but I highly doubt it. All right, we got another black and green code card. Here we go. We got a Dino, Sandigast, Tarantula. Murkrow, ooh, looking cool, looking Paldean, Tauros, Luxio, a Mavistiff again, a Reverse Hollow Relor, a Reverse Hollow Pineco, and a Wigglytuff. So as expected, we got nothing there. And I expect it to happen two more times, but maybe, maybe we might get lucky and hit the jackpot with another hit. We have about mm, $15 on the board right here, so a nice $10, $15 hit would be nice. Or the Charizard could be nice. Get another Charizard. Another one. I haven't hit the first one. You know what? Maybe I will open up Obsidian Flames if the luck blesses me here. Alright, we have Basic Energy, a Heat More, a little Pup, Toxel, Chark Debt, Mawile. We got an Arvin. Doesn't look like anything. I see a shiny background. Reverse Hollow Stun. Is that a Reverse Hollow? No, regular Stun Fisk. Reverse Hollow Scyther. This one's pretty cool. Reverse Hollow Pidgey, pretty basic, and a regular Entei. As expected with the hit rates. And we're not expecting to get anything in this last pack, but maybe we gotta bless it and we might get something. All right, last pack going in. Let's get that last pack magic. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Let me see if it's worth it. Let me find out if this was worth it. The back's looking pretty sweet. Yep. Hopefully we get the Charizard. Doubt it though. 
basic energy, got a drill bear, cup chew, spoink, dynamo, stun fisk, salazzle, pretty cool, bug trio, <laughs> reverse holo crabominable, no, we got a dynamo, and for last tip, we're not expecting anything, but we have nothing. So that kind of goes hand in hand with the hit rates of these boxes. You're typically expected like, I don't know, one hit every, every three packs. So it kind of went hand in hand. Was it worth it in my opinion? I mean, this stand's pretty cool, right? And obviously you have a chance of getting something good from the pack. So yeah, I would say for like 30 bucks, I wouldn't mind paying that um, for a chance at some good cards as well. So that was kind of worth it, kind of not. Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed watching the video. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.